I feel that you shouldn't get involved in an intimate relationship until you are emotionally mature enough to handle it. Totally able to cope with your feelings and your sexuality. This week, we're talking about increasing my volume, increasing my training volume. I have, for the last couple of weeks, been practicing and experimenting with different uh, weekly routines for my training to see which is best for my schedule and which is best for optimizing the time that I have and optimizing gains. I've slowly built up to about 13 hours in the last couple of weeks, switching around workouts here and there. And so this week, it's Monday, and I'm about to go on a bike ride right now to do a little bit of a workout uh, for my first workout of the week. I just did a long run yesterday, so I have been doing, trying to do uh, run workouts on Monday, but I figured that if I just did a long run yesterday, it would be probably best if I give my legs a little bit of rest from running. And so I'm probably gonna do a run workout tomorrow. So that's the plan, we'll see what happens. It's a beautiful day, and so I'm gonna get it started right now. Okay, so today is Tuesday, and I have swam earlier today. Now, my swimming has been coming along quite well. All things considered, I've really been making an effort to actually put in more time into swimming because you actually have to practice a sport a lot to get good at it. Uh, if you didn't know that, it's, um, you know, it's pretty standard knowledge, and I just was not putting in enough effort and so um especially on workout days i try to do at least three thousand yards and uh i probably do about three workouts a week in the swim and so that has upped my mile my not my mileage my yardage quite significantly and i have gotten a lot smoother in the pool but there's only so much swimming that one man can take. And a lot of days it's not great. It doesn't look great. My mind shuts off, I'm swimming in the water, but I am getting faster. And right now I'm working on the one piece that I need, which is open water swimming. And I have not been, but I plan on going to go out and open water swim more. I'm gonna go head out on a run right now, so. All things should be good, an easy run, and we got, I said I was going to do a run workout today, but shifted some things around, and my legs are a little sore, so tomorrow's going to be a great day to go get in a nice track workout. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Today, I'm starting my track workout. It is Wednesday and it is a little past 12 p.m. And today I'm doing 2K repeats on the track. It's a pretty warm day, probably 80 degrees on the track right now. And I am not used to that weather right now at all. And so going for about threshold pace on a couple minutes rest and we'll see how things progress. And I'm feeling all right. Um, first one is already done. First one's always the hardest, but that's okay. So let's get after it today, ladies and gentlemen. If I look a little pale, it's because I got a bunch of sunscreen on. Trying to avoid skin cancer and also not age myself prematurely. If you know, you know. And that's when I knew I had to be with you. That's when I knew if I did. My 
already almost oh, two more, only two more. That's it. That's gonna wrap it up for the track workout two by four, uh, four by two k. And I did five thirty per mile pace, cut down a little bit, um, but it, it felt pretty good. And yeah, it went by pretty fast. So eight k of of working out, and I'm gonna do a little two mile cool down. And I swam this morning, and I'm probably gonna lift later today. So it's been a good day so far. I've been trying to get after it earlier in the morning so I don't get completely fried by the sun. When I'm swimming in the pool, they keep the pool at like 80 degrees. So you can imagine that that's gonna get pretty hot. Yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Probably gonna do a little bike ride. Okay, it is Thursday, about midday, two o'clock. And I just started my bike ride for the day. And it is probably 80 degrees out. Uh, pretty warm for April, I believe. And I'm pretty, it's pretty hot. Uh, considering it's the hottest it's been all year. But the goal for today is to get in some hills, which is why I'm on the road bike. And then, I didn't get my swim in today like I normally do before, so that will be the goal for later after this bike ride, is to get in a nice swim when it cools down a little bit and the sun starts to go down. So we'll see what happens. It's hard. It's hard. Look at that. Straight to the back of the throat. You know? I just feel it lingering there. Alright, we wrapped it up today with the bike ride. 30, 29, almost 30 miles. 2300 feet of elevation gain. And uh, pushed it a little bit here and there on the uphills. Not Nothing structured. Good enough regardless, I suppose. Now, I'm going to eat some food, as you should do. Uh, you know, I've really, man, eating food has just been real pain in the, been real pain in the butt lately. It's just, some, sometimes it's just, I, I don't want to eat the necessary amount of food that I need to eat. And sometimes I just get real tired of eating the same thing over and over again. It's just like, I just want to like, go, you know, I'm like, just, just, just Let's just get it over with, man. And that's it now. You know, I know that's not how it should be, but it just sucks. It is Sunday, April 14th, and today I'm going on a long run. I've decided to venture out near the coast, and I'm gonna run in one of my favorite places amongst the the redwoods over at Nicene Marks. It's a little rainy out. It's a little we got a little, a little bit of storm clouds. It's probably going to be muddy, but it's going to be a little bit of some reprieve from the week. And I'm just going to go out there and I think try to run 13 miles. We'll see how I feel. Try to have a good time. Try to relax a little bit. So yeah, and then maybe go take a nice slow stroll near the beach near the ocean and maybe swim today and then call it a day relax and get ready to do it all over again next week so it is 10 30 in the morning so i suppose i should get started 
currently shuffling up the mountain this incline about five and a half miles in it's gonna be uphill for the rest and I think I'm gonna turn around at six save myself a little bit of extra effort and maybe do a, an extra mile by the car Okay, let's get, this, uh, let's get this out of the rain here. Let's see, we got, uh, got a little muddy. Just did, oh my God. just did 13 miles, 1,200 feet of elevation gain. Incredible long run. I'm um, just grateful to be out there. Starting to come down a little bit, but I made it back just before it's really starting to uh, rain. Um, been struggling during the week with, I guess you can call it depression, uh, when it comes to training. And definitely not so certain how much I've been enjoying it lately. Uh, I've dreaded a lot of sessions, dreaded a lot of working out. On the weekends, it's better. I enjoy it a lot more, but I find no respite from the constant uh, pressure to feel like I'm not doing enough or to feel like I got to get out there and do another session. And honestly, it's been taking a toll on me a lot. Uh, I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep pushing through because I think that I still have more and I got to at least see it through a couple races see it through this season because I definitely feel I definitely feel like I'm coming into some great form great fitness I've made a lot of progress and it would be a waste now to throw it all away or at least that's what I believe I don't know if it is true but it makes one think um, but that's my week of training probably gonna be around 13 hours on the total that's not including lifting that I've done this week. Uh, so another another great week in the books. I'm gonna do one more week, tough training, take a little half week, give myself a little bit of rest, maybe another hard week, and then I race in about a month from now. And uh, we go again. We go again, as they say. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.